Welcome to this uh, video which uh, deals with some example questions concerning significant figures and they're asking me to correct all, uh, all three numbers to one significant figure and also to two significant figures. Okay, this is just to practice our understanding of significant figures. All right, now let's have a look at the, so the first number. It consists uh, currently out of one, two, three, four significant figures. Yeah, and I have to give it to one significant figure first. Now, what is the most significant figure, the most important number? That's the five all the way there. Yeah? It gives the most value to your number, that's that five. Okay. And then it follows the same path as when you're rounding with decimals or with, yeah, with other whole numbers. It either stays a five or it goes up to a six and that depends on the next number. If it's a five or higher, the five would go up. In this case, it's lower than a five. The five stays a five. To one significant figure, it's not going to be five. It's going to be 500, yeah? Because you have to, yeah, it's, it's the zero placeholder if you like. Yeah, you have to put those zeros there to keep it into its context, yeah? 500. Yeah, so 501.2, that is 500 to one significant figure. And it loses a lot of accuracy, yeah? So the more significant figures you have, the more accurate your answer is. Please have a look at my tutorial um, yeah, where I explain that in more detail. All right, two significant figures. So one, two, yeah, those zeros in the middle of your number or at the end, they are significant. Only those at the beginning aren't. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Anyways, this one is significant, absolutely. Zero, that's my second significant figure. Stays a zero or it goes up to a one. It depends on the next number. It's less than five, it's just gonna stay a zero. So also this number to two significant figures is also 500. So there isn't, you do not anyway, you don't see any difference in this particular case between one significant figure and rounding it to two significant figures. Okay, the next number, one significant figure. Now, what is the first significant figure? Well, some of you perhaps will say, oh, that's, well, that's the first number there. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. And we do not count those zeros at the beginning as being significant, because I can put those zeros anywhere if I want, because they have no value, yeah? So they're not significant, okay? So if they are written there, doesn't make them significant, doesn't make them important. My first significant figure here is the two, all right? It gives the most value to my number. It stays a two or goes up to a three, and it indeed goes up to a three. So to one significant figure, that is going to be three. Two significant figures, one significant figure, that's my second one, and my second significant figure either stays a five or goes up to a six, and that depends on my next one, which is less than a five. So to two significant figures, it's gonna be 2.5, which indeed is more accurate than three, because it has more significant figures. Anyway, the last one, 69,499.9 to one significant figure. That's the six, stays a six, goes up to a seven. That depends on the next one, and indeed it goes up to a seven. Now, this isn't going to be seven, and eh? that's not your answer. That's not the same, eh? 69,000, I've got to put those zeros there, 70,000. Do not put point zero, okay? Because then you're assuming a certain amount of accuracy again. No, it's just the whole numbers now. 70,000 is zero placeholder, eh? to put it, to keep it into its context, if you like, okay? 69,499.9 to two significant figures. That's my second, and it's going to stay in nine, or it goes up to a 10, it's gonna stay in nine. So that's gonna be 69,000. Okay, now have a look at the next video, which is only concerned about rounding to three significant figures, um, which will increase your understanding of this very important topic. I'll see you soon.